believe that. I didn't realise what he was doing. Well, it seems like he had everything planned out. He left a note. A note? And how exactly did he think that was going to explain to those children that their dad wasn't going to be around to watch them grow up? Look, he, he can't have been seeing things straight. I know. I know, and I get it. But he can't just abandon his kids, Chaz. None of this is their fault. Where is it now? Robert. Right, I'm going to drop the kids off at Lisa and I'm going to go and see him. Uh, remember, getting angry with him hasn't worked in the past. Well, I'm sure everybody else will be giving him tea and sympathy. I need him to snap out of this. Our kids nearly lost their dad yesterday. I can't let that happen again. I can't imagine what you're going through, Andy. But that, yesterday, if you'd have actually done it, how did you think I was going to explain that to our kids? Do you even care? We all understand how you feel, Debbie. But it's a bit soon for this. Well, there's no point waiting until he's actually done it, is there? Because then the kids will have lost their dad and there'll be nothing that I can do about it. Right, that's enough, Debbie. How many times did you tell Sarah that it was worth fighting on? Through pains, through operations. What is that going to teach her? I think it's time you left, Debbie. Why? You're scared of the truth. No, but maybe you could remember what he's just been through, what he's lost. Well, it seems like he's got the rest of you for that. I remember what our little girl went through. And no matter how bad it got, not once did she give up like this. But if you push him over the edge again, the children really might lose their father. So why don't you just go home and you can continue this conversation when everyone's feeling a bit calmer? I'm not going to stand by and watch you give up. I care too much about you for that. Just think about your kids, how much they love you, how much they need you. That's all I ask. <laughs>